Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our uh, the Wukolo, the Wogoboku, the uh, Japanese pirate song. And uh, we are currently winning a war here by the looks of it with our old ally, which is crazy. Um, I think it's actually a speed five war at this point. Yeah, because we have everything covered and they cannot do anything. So let's go ahead and siege these guys down. Um, and so, I had done a bit of research. Turns out we can actually spawn, um, uh, colonialism. And not only that, we will certainly go for it. Samurai Cavalry. Extra morale damage, sounds good to me. Extra shock defense is probably what we, we probably want to stay with that. I'm saving these, because whenever we fight the Ming Ming... It's gonna be good. I have some ideas, uh, and I know I got this from Flory. You go to war with the Ming, you land some men over here in King Chow, you let them lock in to, tra to pass, and then you navally blockade them. They get locked over here, stack wipe like 50, 60,000 at a time. Um, pretty disgusting. That's a bit off now. We're, uh, till we annex a lot of this, which we're gonna try to full annex him. The aggressive expansion's pretty, pretty gnarly, honestly. Um, as long as we can maintain an alliance. These guys don't know about me? Okay. I would like to make some friends, regardless of where they're at. But, uh, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So let's get you guys up there. Just need to win some sieges. Where's the navy at? There we go. I would probably like to piece these guys out. Oh, we got a disease outbreak. Imagine that. Okay, very good. Go ahead and put you guys away so we're not spending a bunch. Looks like we are actually able to raid coasts again. So let's actually get you guys grouped up on speed four while we're taking this siege over. We're not in any huge rush to get out of this war. So let's see if we can get up there. I'm not sure if we can raid anybody over here, but we'll certainly give it a try. There we go. So let's just let some time run. We'll click it all up. Look at this, all this money coming in. Oh, so good. Oh my gosh, we're so rich. I don't know how far down we can go. Yeah, we can't reach that one. Dang, man. Losing stab. I don't like that. I was hoping to get our idea group. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, what in the world? Wow, that's expensive. Oh, I hate to do it, but we need to keep at least zero stab. Go ahead and raid uh, Ryuku for their six ducats. To show dis it's a sign of disrespect. We're disrespecting them. That's what we're doing. So yeah, I don't think we can do any of this, but we'll be able to get some get some stuff up here for sure. Actually, see, maybe we can even get Dong High. Yeah, we can. Cool. 21 extra ducats. Look at all those sailors we're stealing. There we go. Couple more sea tiles. There we go. Last one. Cool. So let's take a look here. All of this devastation. And it takes a while for it to tick down unless there's a fort there. And it's only this one. So, like, these provinces here are stuck with 10 devastation for the longest period. Um, let's go ahead and cut you guys out of there and have you guys go privateer Beijing again. Have you guys just go ahead and take a seat down over here. Just want to win this siege real quick so we can separate piece these guys. Admittedly, as long as we can lock people in truces, we don't need to worry about a coalition. And it seems like almost all of the coalition members are going to be on the island. So, it's not something I'm too concerned about. But we do want to make sure we have the longest truce possible with them. Plus, that's some free prestige. Here we go. Going to core up everything. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave the autonomy nice and low. Um... Let's see here, 27 supply limit? That's kind of crazy, actually. Let's go ahead and get you guys down there. 
I will take that tech, and then we're gonna focus on um, our ideas moving forward. Go ahead and get an extra man in that army. Naval force limit went up, I believe, by one. Um, another light sounds good. Let's go ahead and rival Tokugawa. Okay, yeah, that'd be fine. Could actually immediately declare on him. But we're not going to. Let's go ahead and get some claims on these guys over here. So they're actually, they do have land that I want to claim eventually. Yeah, I don't think the coalition will form. And even if it did, it's not going to fire. All these guys have like one, uh, two, two troops, stuff like that. Nothing I'm concerned about. So let's see here. I do need to state to start stating this stuff up. Why can I not state this? Oh, because I haven't finished it all up. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Now, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to full state them, but it does lower the autonomy floor a bit. There we go. I should probably see... Yeah, it'll help. Plus, we want the extra admin. Okay. We're gonna get rebels anyway, so we might as well just let the unrest tick up. And there, this stuff is done coring. So we we want these cores up here. So that's a good one. And then both of these ones are gonna end up wanting cores on or claims on eventually. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and state this up. State this up. We're actually losing money because of state maintenance. You know what? Screw it. I'll just state it up. It's going to end up paying itself off in the long term, so we want to state it up. We'll get our idea group. We have 25 years before we have to worry about that, so it's fine. Okay. Plus, we're literally filthy rich, so. Also, we need to be steering, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm sure people have been frustrated at my lack of steering of trade. Um, is there nothing else I can steer from? Yeah, it looks like that's it. So let's come on over here and collect over here. Let's see if that changes it at all. A little bit. Collect point one a month. Feels good, man. Let's see how our... Oh yeah, they all hate me a lot. I could take Kyoto. He's still the, uh, the, uh, master of us or whatever you want to call him. There we go, we're actually gaining more force limit. Because ours, as our autonomy starts to go down, we'll gain more and more force limit, which is really good. Um... He's old. Oh, man. Hate to do it, but, uh... Nearly corruption is nice. I'll take that. Let's have you guys get a claim there, and then over here. Take you back. Ah, so this event is... <clears throat> according to Arumba, one of the better events for republics. Because you're basically trading... You know, give or take about six months of monarch points for four and a half years of Republican tradition. So, and I would, I tend to agree with that sentiment. A Republican tradition would have been nice a little bit ago, save us some admin points, but it's fine. So, to clear up any confusion that there might have been about, um, there might have been about colonialism. Apparently, it this um, this this check here that says uh, is not an island. Um, apparently, it means that it is not 
an island not connected by sea tile. So like this is an island. Ryuku is, is an island because it's not collect, connected to a the major landmass by a sea tile. I might be wrong, but um, the Philippines are technically an island, I think. But like this technically wouldn't be an island. And I'm not sure since there's a straight crossing, this might not be technically an island. I don't think this. Sri Lanka is technically an island. Maldives, not an island. Um, I might be wrong. But uh, I think it basically means like little OPMs out at sea cannot cannot spawn it. That's what I've taken away from that. But I might be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. So let's go ahead and actually build another galley. We need to make sure we're, we're building our pirate fleet. But we're also needing to make sure that we are building our... Um, Oh, let's also make sure get you in there. I don't care if I have trade uh, trade power in Beijing. <laughs> I don't have anything anyways. We earned zero ducats there. Feels bad, man. Ooh. Well, we'll definitely take admin points. I will core up the last of this, and there we go. So what that does is that lowers the autonomy floor in a lot of these areas, so... Doesn't look like we're still having any rebels, which is great. Just speed five in it while we're letting ourselves build up. See, this is still, it's barely going up anymore, but uh, looks like they're at war. Conquest of Lang Zhao. Okay, so they're not a tribute by the looks of it. Okay. So we have a couple of forts. Let's take a look at, like, Japan's navy. See if we beat their navy. I said Japan. I meant Korea. So they have nine galleys. It's pretty good. Let's also make sure. Can we upgrade our ships? None that need upgraded. None that need upgraded. All right, cool. Well, that's good. Okay, so... Our provincial unrest is still pretty bad, but we're not getting unrest to the point where we think I think we need to be worried. So they're allied to Oda. Would Oda help? They would not. We have a truce with them though. We do not have a truce with these guys and nobody will help them. So we should totally declare this one. Oh, come on now. You turd. Let's come on over here into the grasslands. They'll probably take this province now, unfortunately. Looks like those rebels enforce their demands. Let's see here. Where's this capital at? Is this capital? No. Where's this capital? Hello? Oh, it's right here. Occupied by Oda. There we go. Getting attacked up here and gonna lose, so I'm just gonna flee. <laughs> there we go. I want this province here. We have the manpower to uh, to take that, so it's good. Up and coming pirate again, by the looks of it. Okay. And let's make sure we're getting him over there. Hmm. Oh, clicked all the wrong buttons. Um, yeah, we can take a little bit of inflation. It's fine. I just, I literally just want these two provinces. That's all I want. Oh, he'll give it to me, actually. Cool. Well, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead over here. Ooh. These guys are getting attacked by those rebels. They're actually going to lose. Oh, they lost to the rebels. Ooh, a stab. I will take that. Thank you, thank you. So we do have some rebels. So I should probably just peace out and take what I can. So let's go ahead and core that up. Let's see if we can have those guys attack me over here in the woods. That would be great. Come on. Oh, come on now, you dingus. Fight me. Fight me. There we go. Should be an easy win. Beautiful. 
naval battle. Probably want some galley combat ability or ship trade power. Chance to capture enemy ships is always a fun one as well because I'm thinking, and hear me out guys, I'm thinking we're probably going to go maritime. I'm thinking. Um, I'm probably going to go naval first just because naval is actually an objectively good group if you're a navally focused country. Um, what was this one? Yeah, privateer efficiency 25%. Naval force limit is 50. That's crazy. Ships repairing, repairing coastal sea tiles. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and build another galley. Definitely in our best interest. Um, what do we do for this one, though? Ch I think chance to capture enemy ships is just a good one. Galley combat would be a good... I'm going to go with ch chance to capture enemy ships. That seems more legit to me. So, we definitely want to get a core on these guys. Oh, these guys are like an OPM now. I have a truce with them still. Very soon we'll be able to attack them. Let's get a declare on these guys. They have a... Okay. Who are you? Let's get a claim on uh, the Koreans. Because I do want to attack them. As soon as I have naval supremacy, I want to take Jeju. It's also... Is it part of my state? No, it's not. Hmm. Um... Let's go ahead and just take war score, war, 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 taxes. That's what I was looking for. All right. Now, and eventually we'll get this. We're going to skip out on tech five for now. Uh, basically, I just need the first two groups and then we can, we can rush that down. These two are done. So let's state it up. I say as I use admin points to core that up. Basically, I just want to get the autonomy down a little bit lower. There we go. We're finally actually making money. Uh, EO? Where's that? This? Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Hopefully, we didn't lose a force limit from that. We did not. We actually have gained a force limit. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to hold off. Get quest for the new world. We want to make sure that we are as close to spawning colonialism as we possibly can be um i'm okay with having this oh give me a break so annoyed always trying to take me stab they're always after me stab truce with yamana is over that's these guys right here right there we go um let's go ahead and get a claim on this and get a claim on this let's go ahead and declare this war ah I think we're fine. I can't imagine it's going to be much of a fight that I need to worry about. Let's go ahead and have you guys come on over there. We're going to attack Korea for sure. Sheba. Some separatists. I'm hoping that they will... Eh, they were not going to go for the fort, unfortunately. More separatists. Shoni separatists. I quit, I quit suppressing rebels for a moment. Yeah, I guess we lose more Republican tradition. These events, I'm just randomly... Like, I'm not going to lose my stab. Um, okay. Psych, I lose the stab. Alright, cool. Let's come on down here. Attack me. Attack me, Shoni Rebels. Attack me, Shoni Rebels. They can go over there. It's fine. These Rebels are going to come and attack me. I will take them out. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and go with um, an up and coming pirate again. I'm going to end up having to just fight these guys. Free stab. Sounds good. All things are balanced now. <laughs> there we go. Can I just annex you? Of course I cannot. I don't think I'm going to take any mainland. Um, I'm probably going to reserve myself mostly to conquering island nations. Um, prevent myself from, you know, ever losing 
dominance. Let's go ahead and take exploration here. Quest for the new world. So let's go ahead and have three of you guys split off. Get a dude. Have Ooh, we can do our raiding now as well. Let's actually have that be a thing first. Okay, let's actually have you guys over here. Let's see if we can piece these guys out. There we go. Ooh, can actually get some money from them. Have them break their alliance with my ally, apparently. There we go. Very good. So let's come on up here, here, here. We're just going to do our rounds real quick. Make sure we're devastating the Ming as much as we possibly can. We're just going to do the same thing we did last time where we just click and we're just, you just click. <laughs> That's literally all I'm doing. Click, click, click. This also devastates his lands a lot right before we declare war on him, which is going to be beautiful. Oh, unfortunately we can't get down in there. Um, it's fine. doesn't matter. 98 duck arenas. That's nuts. We can reach all the way down there. So good. Oh, there we go. Looks like we're even getting those guys down there. Beautiful. So, let's just take a quick look. We have naval superiority. Looks like our dude, our uh, explorer, is actually a better naval guy than what we're working with there. So, let's go ahead and core you. We're going to get a claim on Jeju, we have. Daimyos can't fight their own wars. Right, so... Free stab? Yeah, it's not worth. Well, okay, fine. So let's go ahead and have you guys go and do some exploring then. Go ahead and go out into the, the great unknown. Let's have you guys go ahead and privateer Beijing with this dude, and then have you guys just go chill. Looks like we're over our naval limit now, unfortunately. But we have a thousand ducats in the bank, so who cares? <laughs> um. Okay. The limber is here. We can get our value cannon eventually. We can afford it right now, and we will. When's our truce with these guys up? 85. Sounds good. Don't have a truce with these guys. We're waiting on our value can. <laughs> they can siege down some stuff if they really want to. It doesn't bother me much. Hai Chi has gone bankrupt. Uh, tech costs. Sounds good to me. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and see what's going on up north up there. We actually might need to, like, no CB Ainu to get, um, or I might have to just colonize up here first. There we go. Let's see what's going on up here. go come on over here always losing stab always man we're gonna keep it at the uh, suppression for now so we can get faster faster um, colonies Okay, let's see here. Can we see the Kirills? We can. Very good. Um, let's go with Diplo. Yeah. So, if you guys didn't know this, you're actually... Your exploration range is based off of your colonial range, so... Let's see if we can get a stack wipe on them. No, we cannot. 
Unfortunate. Wonder where they're fleeing to. It's really weird. They're just kind of going wherever. They're heading up there. Though I probably should have my navy out like this. Let's have you guys exploring. Hmm. No, I'll have you guys stay right there. We're actually going to. Really? Jeez, man. Yeah, we're gonna need this Diplo Idea Group. We'll take them both. It's fine. We have enough money that I don't think we ever need to really worry about that. Just removing extra tags. Unnecessary tags from the map. Let's see here. All right, cool. Well, we definitely consolidated some more land on uh, the mainland Japan. I think it's only a matter of time before we can unite Japan. Um, there's definitely going to be a few more major wars, but uh, it's safe to say we have hegemony on the island. And uh, it looks like Ashikaga is uh, definitely not going to be having a good time for very long. So hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. Um, I recorded episode one and two back to back, so this is going up in the afternoon. Um, the support on the first episode was incredible, and uh, you guys are incredible, and I'm really glad that you're enjoying. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any suggestions or things you think maybe we could change up, or you know, if you think that I should be doing something differently. I want to know. Uh, obviously, I hope that you are enjoying, and if you are, leave a like on the video. It helps a ton, and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, you want to see more of what we got going on here. If you want to check out the Discord or support what I'm doing on Patreon, the links are going to be linked below the video. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yodaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.